Hi, I'm going to show you today how to make a monkey topper. It is Molly's birthday on Wednesday, today is Saturday. She's a very cheeky monkey and this theme fits her perfectly. I'm just having, poor third child, I'm not having a big party. I'm just having a party at an indoor play center where I don't have to do anything. But of course I'm going to do a cake. So, um, this is the little topper. Get my bananas are falling off. So, this is the little monkey topper here. Pretty simple, I'm not sure, I did sort of make a split banana to go on top of the head. I'm not quite sure whether I'm going to do that yet. But anyway, I hope you enjoy the tutorial. It's pretty simple, so um, yeah, enjoy. Okay, so I've got my two colours. I used Americolor Chocolate Brown, and this just has a tiny, this is just white, and I just used a tiny bit of Americolor Chocolate Brown. Um, and I've mixed them both with my Tylo powder so that they will harden. And that's what I do for modelling. Now I've got, this is the cake board for the bottom tier of my cake. Uh, it's just a tiny little cake that I'm making. And <laughs> some baking paper, I've actually, you can't really see it. I've just drawn the top tier of my cake, the circumference, because I just want to know, obviously I'm going to draw my figurine on the thing, on the on baking paper, as I always do. But I just want to know that, um, you know, I'm doing it to the right size of the cake. You don't want this massive monkey sitting on top of your cake. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is take some of um, our fondant and I'm just going to roll it out to like an egg shape. Pear shape, egg shape. And my characters usually sink down a little bit, so it's kind of about what I want. I just also want it to have like a, a bit of a belly. So I'm just sort of gonna tap it up there. So can you sort of see? So it's sort of gonna have a little bit of a little bit of a belly. Just gives it a bit more of a comical. Don't even know if you can really see that. I figure as it sits down, you will be able to. And I'm just gonna get a little. Sorry. Just want to make a little belly button, so I'll sort of do it about there. There we go. Okay, next thing is we're going to do the legs and the arms. So we need to roll out two balls. You want them to be the same, same size ball. Now, I'm going to have to turn this around this way. It's hard to work backwards. Okay, and then just we're just going to literally roll it out into uh, a snake. Don't want the ends of it. You just need to make sure by looking at it thinking oh is it too, just need to make sure the scale is all right when you roll it out then I can see here now that you know that one is a bit thicker than that one so I'll take a little bit off otherwise I think the size is pretty good so just give it a really good knead so that you don't get any cracks in it pretty soft anyway because I've just coloured it so it's got a bit of moisture from that. Okay when you're pretty happy I'll let that one just sit there like that and I'll measure up the next one. Okay, so when you're happy that they're about the right size, you want to just one end flatten like that and then the other one you need to squeeze in at the side because that is going to go along the side. See there, there's my side profile. It's going to go along like that so that when you look at it like that, you've got the two legs on the side. So I'm going to stick that on now just using a bit of water. Okay, so here is my little monkey so far so those legs are attached like that 
What I'm going to do now is get my lighter coloured fondant at the end and I want to roll out two balls. Get them the same size. Not quite the same size. There we go. Okay, so we're going to roll it out into a circle. Then we're just going to flatten it a bit. Not ridiculously, you know, still got a bit of thickness to it. Still make sure it's keeping its circle shape. And then using a bit of water, just going to stick it on the end just like that. Okay, so there we go. Now, I'm going to do some arms down. So I'm going to just roll out to, um, same as for the legs basically, but a bit thinner. Okay, so you can see I've got my arms here. Look, these are just, you know, basic arms. This is a basic monkey. <laughs> it's not going to have heaps of detail. And I'm just going to do the top, the sides. And you need, just like in the other one, flatten it. And then it's just going to be sort of dangling here. I'll show you what it looks like once I've finished. Okay, so I've stuck them on. I'll just, you just want to make sure they're both kind of as high as each other. So it needs to sort of be moved around a bit. But basically, I'm just going to have the arms kind of just dangling there. I know it looks really bad right now. So, and it's really hard to tell in that in this light. But yeah, that's sort of what it's looking like at this stage. Now, um, before we get stuck on the head, what I just, as I always do with my figurines, I always like to attach it with a toothpick. Um, no one's going to eat this, so um, I'm going to just break a tiny bit off. That's probably an okay height. Just so if I, sometimes I do the head a different day. I'm going to do it all now anyway, so that's fine. But yeah, I just like to have that. It just acts as a support system. Next step is we're going to get the right size head. So I've got my chocolate. And it's just a matter of giving it a good roll, looking at your monkey, and just sort of looking and going, right, you know, how does that look? It looks a bit big, but these this monkey is kind of going to be a comical monkey. So it does sort of need to be, if I look at it like that, that might be about the size I need. Now, I haven't obviously put that into shape yet. So, um, so what we're going to do, I just want to check my ball is going to be the right size. So I'm going to roll it in a circle, a bit more of a sort of egg shape than a, than a full circle. And then I'm just going to put it down here and I'm going to roll out some lighter fondant. Okay, I'm going to cut out a circle. This, you sort of want to find this circle cutter is actually a tad too small. Um, but I think I've said it before, my kids still have lost one. So I've just got to make do with it. So, you haven't. Oh, it's gone missing. Okay, so once you've got your circle, you want to just, I might get a smaller one. We're going to make a, <laughs> can I use my hands? So it's a circle with a love heart sort of on the top. So to get that love heart look, I'm just going to make a hole where I want it to be, where I want the middle part to be. And then I'm just going to sort of go around like that. Um, can you see here what I've done? So I've just used my circle cutter on each side. It's not the best job, but once we take it out, see here how that looks. You can use your modeling tools to just kind of tidy it up. Okay, so I'm going to tidy that up and then I'm going to stick it on my face. 